Data streaming is defining React and Next.js's future. It's time to learn about it. So streaming is not that streaming, but I do have a Twitch channel. It's actually a way to send data continuously, so over a period of time. Let's actually take Twitch's homepage as an example. Of course, you have a lot to load. You have your channels, your featured video, the full feed. Now you might try to resolve all that data server side, avoid sending stuff to the client, but it has a funny network effect where you might have to wait a long time for everything to load before you can browse the first video. So you want a way to render each individual chunk server side and send them when they're ready. It's where streaming comes in. You can try this with React Server Components, the backbone of Next. Modeling our Twitch app, we might have three components, and each can use a sync await to fetch stuff on the server. By default, React waits for all the data fetching to be done before sending to your browser. But maybe you're cool with loading states. For that, you can wrap things with suspense and add fallbacks to show on the client while the server loads. Let's see how this loads now. Ding, 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 ding. Now our app streams into view, loading resources along the way. I do weekly videos to subscribe to learn. 